So I work for the National Ignition Facility, and uh, the work that I do is in the target fabrication division. So we make the targets that go inside the big chamber that they fire the laser at and destroy. We actually have need in the laser program to make uh, thinner and thinner membranes, and we, we had reached a roadblock. We couldn't make them any thinner using our current technology than about uh, 35 or 40 nanometers. And we wanted to go thinner, and we didn't know how to do that. So we began experimenting with the sacrificial layer that I talked about earlier. And we were having a lot of trouble getting materials that were reliable and reproducible. So one day, I took the sacrificial layer and kind of frustrated, I just rinsed it all off of the substrate and I said, I gotta start over. And as I rinsed it off, I looked at it and I realized, hey, not all of it came off. And then I thought about it and I thought, you know what, there's probably a single molecule layer left on there. And when I looked into the scientific literature, I realized that that's probably what was going on. And it was at that point we thought, well, maybe we could use what's remaining, that single molecule layer on there to, uh, to modify our substrates before we use them. The traditional way of making these materials requires you to use something called a sacrificial layer. And that can cause a lot of problems. You can have problems with compatibility and contamination. It's really hard to scale. The great thing about peel is that it's totally self-optimizing. So if you have a large area over which you want to make a freestanding polymer film or a high throughput process or something where you just need a lot of reliability, peel's perfect. We've been using it for over three years with almost no problems in our internal applications. Once we started working with it, we realized that it was extremely reliable. And once we began to understand the science, we began to understand why it was so reliable and why it was so repeatable. It turns out that this process doesn't require any human intervention. It just requires nature to do its job. And so that's why we began thinking that it could be used for applications which require much higher throughput than we might use here at a national laboratory. I think one area where it could be really useful is in the field of separations, where the thinner the membrane is, the, uh, the easier it can be to perform your separation. And with peel, you can make films which are almost arbitrarily thin. And so if you want to make a thinner membrane more reliably, this is the technology for you.